All right, guys. Well, we are headed to South Dakota here. Got to pick up my girlfriend from work at 11. Got the truck. Going to have to grab a trailer. And um, got the cash out. Sold the Tahoe for 8000 So that was a $5,600 profit in three days I've had that Tahoe. So pretty excited about that profit. So I got that out ready to go. I also put some in the bank. I don't need all of it. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to go pick up, hopefully, fingers crossed, a decent car. And uh, both of them are fun cars. And both of them are cars I think will be super fun to drive. Super interesting on the channel. So I'm going to get one of the two. There's three cars I'm looking at. One of them I'm not sure if I'm even going to go look at. I want it really, really bad. And if I look at it, I'll buy it. But I know resale value is not worth it for this one. I mean, it probably would be for like a thousand dollar profit, but the other two have like a two to three thousand dollar profit margin, so it's just smarter. The one that I might not even look at, I'm saying, has a salvage title and the third gear synchro grinds really bad, he said. Other than that, it runs just perfect and it's attuned with a Cobb access port and um, a stage two Focus ST at 2015, which I really freaking want but I'd want it for me and I just don't have the extra money to buy that for myself on top of another car right now so I don't oh it's hard man it's really hard because that one's in Wisconsin that's the other way so I can't look at all of them but the other two are actually within like an hour of each other in South Dakota there was a couple two valve Mustangs and stuff but I just decided not to look at them because I don't really want it I want a two valve but I also don't right now so I'd rather buy something that's worth it. Some, both of these cars are pretty rare. One of them I 100% guarantee most of you have never seen or heard of. The other one I'm sure you've heard of, but it's uh, never thought I'd own one at this point. So we're gonna look at both of them. Little, little trip vlog, road trip vlog, kinda. Grab some drinks, grab some snacks, and uh, kinda get on the road. Right, guys well we're in south dakota all, almost in nebraska looked at an audi s4 yesterday and i really like it but i had to look at this next car which i'm going to look at right now it's 7 20 in the morning so i'm gonna go check it out i've always wanted one it's kind of between this and the s4 so yeah All right, guys, well, I did not buy the Audi S4. I bought the supercharged V8. So it's a 2003 Jaguar S-Type R. And uh, these things got like 399 or 400 horsepower. I forgot which one it, Google says. It's like 399. And uh, they're fun. They're really fun. So I grabbed it. I mean, we got. it's got a nice power steering leak. So of course I show up on a six hour drive and he's like, well, I didn't know. I'm like, how did you not know? And it's this ugly ass gray fluid. And uh, we took a long test drive, you know, like a 30 minute test drive on the highway, the interstate and stuff. Needs front brake rotors and pads and the power steering fix and the valve cover gasket leaks. So I got him down from 6,000 to 3,700. So yeah, I paid $3,700 for this thing. I like the little R right there. I mean, this thing's got balls. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty quick. It's definitely quicker than an LS4, I will say that. I really wanted that Audi S4 though. Like I really wanted it the whole time, that's all I've been thinking about. But it had a salvage title and that was like the only real issue with it. This thing's pretty nice, minus those couple issues.
Well, filling up here, and uh, I returned the Jag. Gave he gave me my thirty seven hundred back. It uh, it was just burning a lot of oil off the valve cover gaskets from the valve car gaskets and a bad power steering fluid leak and a couple more clunks here and there than I wanted. So, you know, I drove six hours under the impression he had told me it's meticulously maintained and zero issues. It was maintained well, but there's some issues from sitting. And the brakes are so bad, the wheels shake so bad when you hit the brake pedal. And I don't know. He gave me my money back. I just wasn't too happy, um, which was awesome of him. He didn't have to do that. I could have been stuck with it because I made the choice to buy it. But we're heading back up, two and a half hours back up to Watertown, South Dakota, to buy that S4. That car was amazing. All I could think about when, after I bought the Jaguar driving it was I should have bought the S4. It's a salvage title, but you can't tell. So we're going to go back and get it. The Jaguar is really rare. I'll probably never find another S-Type R for under five. But if I get one for five down the line, it'll be a lot nicer. Well, got my money back for the Jaguar. Went with the Audi. The only problem is the front bumper is all rock chipped and blemished. It's very, very clean. There is the only rust on the entire car is this surface rust right here, which happens on these. Underneath it, everything is super clean. It's a stage two car, it pulls really good. It's got really good tires. A full size spare of these rims, too, with a good tire, the matching tire. It's got 200k, but I mean, you wouldn't know it. So I'm gonna try and get this loaded up.